everybody. This is Alan Moore, Certified Financial Planner and founder of Serenity Financial Consulting. Thanks so much for joining me. So there are really two primary ways that you can earn money in the market. You can either own something or you can loan someone else money. Now, granted, there are some other more exotic strategies, but these are really the two primary ways and probably the two that most investors should stick with. So the first way is by owning something. So for instance, you could own a part of a company by purchasing shares of stock in that company. Because remember, when you actually own stock, you literally become an owner of that company. Now, whenever you invest by owning something, you can actually then earn money in two kind of two primary ways. The first way is whenever what you own becomes profitable. So let's say you own shares in a company and that company does really well, they have a really great year, well, they may distribute some of those profits to the owners of the company, also called shareholders, in the form of dividends. Basically, it's a reward for being an owner. The same way if you own real estate, that uh, it, whatever is left over after the mortgage payments are made and repairs are made over the rent payment, then whatever's left over, you get to earn. So basically, that real estate was profitable and you make money. The other way is when the value of what you own actually goes up. So if a company does really well and the value of that company is increasing, or let's say you own real estate or even gold, then as the value goes up and if you sell it, then you've made a profit. So those are kind of the two primary ways that you can earn money when it's profitable versus whenever the value of what you own actually goes up. So now that we know about owning, what about loaning? So you can literally make money by loaning money to others. When you go down to the bank and you deposit money into your savings account, you are literally loaning the bank money and then they'll loan it out. Well, in return for you loaning the bank money, they'll pay you interest, admittedly at lower rates than it used to be, but they are still giving you a slight interest rate. Now, you could also purchase a CD from the bank, in which case you're basically just loaning them money for a longer fixed period of time, so therefore they'll pay you a little bit higher interest rate. So that's how you can earn money by loaning someone money. But there's other ways too. You could per you could loan money to the government by purchasing T-bills or I-bonds or TIPs. You can uh, loan money to cities by purchasing municipal bonds. And in return, all of these entities will pay you money. You can also loan money to companies in the form of bonds. So as you can see, the most common way, or the most common, I guess, ownership category is going to be by purchasing stocks. And the most common way uh, to loan someone money is through, the pur is through purchasing bonds. And actually, if you want to, let's say you want to invest in a particular company, you can choose if you want to own a piece of that company by buying its stock, or you can loan it money by purchasing its bonds. You actually get to choose. Same with real estate. You can either own the physical real estate by purchasing it, or you can actually loan someone else money to purchase real estate in the form of a mortgage. It's your decision. So have you ever thought about investing in this kind of simplified version of owning versus loaning? Does this help kind of clarify the ways that you can earn money in the market? I would love for you to share your thoughts in the comments section. So that's all I have for today. Thanks so much for joining me.